Hi guys and welcome back to my channel living in Canada. In today's video I want to share with you my experience of buying new bicycles at Sportcheck. And I will talk about the price of the bicycles, the quality, the pickup slash delivery process, the service, and since the delivery gave me quite a headache, I will also give you some tips for how you can avoid that. I've been holding off buying bicycles here in Canada for quite a while and the reason was just because I thought that buying bicycles here must be so expensive. I mean just look at all those stores with those fancy bikes that cost thousands of dollars. But since I was really keen on having my own bike instead of having to rent from bike share for example, I did some research and I found to my surprise that at stores such as Walmart and Sportcheck in this case you can actually get really decent bicycles at a very good price. So a few months ago we finally ended up buying two bicycles from Sportcheck, both of the brand Nakamura, one a women's bicycle for me and a men's bicycle. Now let's get to the price first. And a few months ago that was $354 dollars and 99 cents and at that time there was a 25 percent discount so we ended up paying 266 dollars and 24 cents plus hsd which totaled 300 dollars and 85 cents per bike but i have really really great news for those of you who want to buy a bike now so if now you go to sportcheck.ca you'll see that the two bikes that we bought are sold for much cheaper now this is the Nakamura Royal 700C Hybrid Bike and the original price used to be $354.99 but now it's 40% off so times 60% and now it's only $212.99. And the same goes for the Nakamura Women's Royal 700C Hybrid Bike. It's also 40% off, so it's only $212.99. And that is a very good price for a bicycle. By the way, guys, pay attention to this one very important thing if you want to save even more money. So up here it says, sign up for our mailing list to get 10% off. So if you're not signed up yet, make sure that you do that so you can add an additional 10% off and that would practically almost pay the HST for you. By the way guys, if you found this video helpful so far, then I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button. Overall, getting this kind of bike for under $300 I think is a very good deal. And that brings me to the quality of these bikes. Of course, you get what you pay for. These bikes are very simple standard bikes. I mean, the quality I personally think is very decent considering the price, but it's nothing fancy. The model and the features are pretty standard. But in the first place, I was just looking for a standard, casual, everyday city bike. These bikes are sturdy enough, reliable enough. I would say this would be the Toyota or the Honda of bikes. I will do a complete review of the bikes and that video will come out pretty soon. So if you wanna make sure that you don't miss that video, video then make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also very importantly you also need to set the notification bell to all notifications because only if you do that will YouTube actually notify you once there's a new video for me. Now let's get into the delivery slash pickup process and I'm going to talk about both and the reason is this. Initially we wanted to pick up both of the bikes at a sport check outlet but the thing is that depending on their stock at sport check the bike that you want to order is not always available at every location so in those instances you will need to either order at another store or you would need to have the bikes delivered to your place that was a problem but anyway i'll talk about that later and give you some tips for how you can avoid making the same mistake now let's first start with a Nakamura women's bike which I ordered for pickup. So if you go on the website, on the right hand side you will see that there's an option to pick the size and I order size M. And here's the quantity and then below here you see free in-store and curbside pickup and you can select the store from which you want to pick up your bike. So here for example, if you wanted to pick it up at Eden Center Sport Check, unfortunately it's out of stock but then there are other stores here for example Yorkdale Scarborough Sport Check where they have stock but it's low stock and you can also check out other stores here if you click on this button. So here if we just input Toronto you will see that there's a list of 27 other places where you could pick up the bike from so pay attention to whether there is low stock out of stock and so on so let's just say that you wanted to pick up your bicycle from Yorkdale Sport Check and you go to pick it up 
So the bike is added to the shopping cart and here below here you'll see that it says available for ship to home but let's not click on this because in this example we want to pick it up from the store. And from here you'll just go to checkout and here you basically fill out your details and make sure that the, the details that you fill out here match the name of the person who's picking up the bicycle. And from here you basically complete the purchase as usual and what happens next is that Sportcheck will send you an email to confirm your order and they will say that your order is not ready to be picked up yet. So don't just head to the store yet but wait until it's confirmed until the bike is ready because they actually need to prepare get your bike assembled at the store. So after this I think it was on the next day I actually got a call from the Sportcheck team confirming my order and they told me that I would be able to pick up my bike on this and this date. So the date they gave me was about three to four business days from the date of purchase. So I was really surprised. Wow, it's actually quite fast. But then they told me on the phone that just to make sure I should give them a call on the day before I pick up the bike. So I thought, okay, they already confirmed the date, but still I need to call again to reconfirm. But anyway, so the next week I called them to confirm the date of pickup and someone else picked up. And what happened was that somehow for some reason they couldn't find the work order. So the work order is basically the instruction given to the mechanic that tells them to process, to prepare this bike, get it assembled, get it ready for the customer. So this person on the phone just couldn't find my work order. And and because of that, we needed to arrange a new date. So we arranged a new date and they told me that I would be able to pick up the bike in the next few days. So they weren't that organized, I must say. But anyway, on the day that they promised me, I went to sport check, ready to pick up my bike and everything turned out as promised. The bike was ready, it was assembled perfectly, and it just looked great and I was really happy. The checkout process, the pickup process was very fast, the sport check team was also very helpful, very friendly, so so overall I would say that picking up a bike at sport check was a good experience. And in case I have not mentioned it yet, because we didn't have a car, we took the bike home on the bus. At the front of the TTC buses, there are these racks where you can actually store your bikes. And at first, I was a bit worried to use that because it looked as though the bike could fall off at any time, but it was actually really secure. But anyway, that's a story for another time. So let's go on to my tip here. If you buy a bike at Sportcheck and you pick it up in person from a Sportcheck outlet, what you definitely need to do is to reconfirm the pickup date. Because at some outlets, it may be a bit messy. They're not as organized as they could be. And you don't want to be in a situation where you took off time just to get to the store to pick up your bike and it's just not ready because someone mixed up the order. So make sure that you confirm the date and also always ask for the person you spoke to. Now let's go on to the other bike, the men's bike which we got delivered and I have to tell you that was quite a nightmare so let's just click on the bike the Nakamura Royal 700C the men's bike so here again you pick the size for example M you pick the quantity I would assume one bike and it turns out that at the moment this bike is available for store pickup only which by the way I would highly recommend so just to tell you more about the delivery process let's just take another bike for this example let's take this bike as an example but remember this is not the bike that I purchased I just want to show you how delivery works so here you can see that there are two options delivery and pickup option so you could either pick up your bike for free in the store or you can ship to home at the moment, there's a free shipping promo on orders over $99, but it says that some exceptions apply. So let's see later. Let's select the size and the quantity and add to cart. And voila, see here, it says excluded from free shipping. So no, unfortunately, the shipping promo does not apply to bicycles. So how much is the delivery fee? Let's see now. Let's go to checkout. So here I am just going to enter a dummy address. So this is not my real address, guys. Below here it says standard shipping method. It's basically regular shipping and it will take five to seven days once shipped from their distribution center. Okay, and now here we have the shipping fee, which is $37.36. And at first I said to myself, Wow, that's actually not too cheap. I was actually hoping to get free delivery for this. But anyway, if it makes my life easier, if I can get the bike delivered to my home for an additional charge, then why not, right? So I just went ahead, paid the fee, and checked out. And this is where the headache began. After checking out, I got an email from Sportcheck, again, to confirm my purchase. And it says right here in the email, in the small prints, your bike will require further assembly and tuning before it can be safely used. 
but there's no mention of who's doing the assembly. The phrasing is very poor and it's even a passive sentence. Your bike will require further assembly. What they should have said, I think, is in big caps, warning, your bike comes unassembled, you will have to assemble it yourself or something like that. Anyway, so below here, there's a link that says, please click here for more information. And of course, not all of the customers will actually click on it. And I actually almost missed that little note about the assembly. So I clicked on the link and here it gave this notice on bike building and assembly. It said that at this time, some of our stores are not offering this service as a result of the temporary store closures in blah, blah, blah. Please call your local sport check prior to visiting to learn more about the current services being offered and so on and there's also a bike assembly video and I just really think that for good customer experience sport check should have noted this fact that it comes unassembled before the customer makes the purchase on the website together with the product description and not after the purchase as a side note so at first I was thinking hmm, I might give it a try but then again after I finished watching the video and I checked out other videos on YouTube as well it seems that it can be quite risky to try and assemble a bike on your own if you don't have any experience with that because after all think of the brakes that you will need to adjust and after thinking about that I thought that I really didn't want to take a risk with safety and then I also realized that I didn't really have the tools to assemble the bike and if I were to buy all those tools on Amazon for example even if I would get the cheapest tools then it would cost me somewhere around $50 or more but also the final thing that made me not want to make an attempt at assembling the bike by myself was this when the bicycle actually arrived at our home and the process was actually pretty smooth we got it delivered on time I looked at the packaging and it stated somewhere clearly that this bike should be assembled by a professional if you were to try to assemble the bike on your own and later on you would need to service that bike or something was wrong with the bike then the warranty might be void difficult decision right so my option was to either try and assemble it by myself and a lot of things could go wrong or I had to bring it to the store and as I told you guys before we don't have a car so we would need to carry that bicycle on the bus to the store and that's what we did in the end. so again I called sport check to make an appointment to schedule to bring in the bike and again there was some kind of mix-up I had an appointment for when to bring in a bike and also an estimation of the completion date but when I called them to reconfirm like the first time someone mixed up the work order and then the dates got changed again <laughs> But anyway, in the end, I got an appointment because the box was just huge. We unpacked the bicycle parts, we took them out of the box, and we carried them on the bus to the sport check outlet. So there again at the store, I would say that the service was really good. They were pretty fast at checking in the bicycle. The process was very smooth. The work was done very fast and delivered on time. About four or five days after that, I went back to the store and the bicycle was ready for me to take home. And I was so happy that everything finally worked out. So basically, I was very, very satisfied with the bike. I was also happy with the service, but I was disappointed about the delivery process. I just think that Sportcheck should have done a better job in informing the customer upfront before purchasing the item that the thing that the bicycle would come unassembled. Because if they themselves strongly advise that not you but a professional like themselves should assemble the bike, then it doesn't make sense to have the bike delivered to your home just for you to bring it to a sport check outlet. I mean, there are some exceptions, of course, people who are experienced in this and can just assemble their own bike, but I am not one of them. And I believe that most people, most average people also don't have any experience with this. So a very important tip here, if you're not experienced in building bicycles, and if you don't want to take any risk, then just pick up the bike from the store. Even if it's a bit further away, just go to the store, have the bike already assembled for you and pick it up but anyway in summary do I recommend buying bikes at Sportcheck and would I buy bikes at Sportcheck again and the answer is a clear yes despite the trouble with the delivery and although at some stores they are a bit disorganized I would still buy a bike at Sportcheck simply because of the price I think that they offer very very competitive prices so just keep these things in mind when you order a bike from Sportcheck. Number one, don't get it delivered, but pick it up from the store. Number two, double confirm your pickup date. Don't just assume that you can just go to the store and it's ready. Call the person, ask for the name of the person you're speaking to, and really make sure that the bike is ready before you pick it up. By the way, guys, let me know in the comments below whether or not you are going to buy a bicycle this summer, and also whether or not you are going to buy it at Sportcheck or some other place. And also, just in case you are new, 
you here in Toronto and you're wondering about how to get around using public transportation, then this video over here might help you. Thank you so much guys for watching. Have an awesome day and I'll see you again next time.